hi guys hope you are doing well today i gonna discuss about the daad scholarship is german scholarship and you guys know this uh, the german scholarship is really very good so this scholarship normally offer for the master's program and you guys know is really really good scholarship as i know so everyone knows this uh, prestigious scholarship and you see there is the fully funded scholarship and this is actually the image so we are gonna describe in below and the details information in there so i will recommend you guys uh, try to manage the, the document if you have the possibility and then try to apply don't miss this scholarship is really really very good scholarship and i will take very little time so please uh, try to watch the full video maybe i will try to finish it within uh, eight minutes or nine minutes so don't be worried just uh, nine minutes can change your life so i know that uh, it's very good opportunity and you don't believe me that uh, how much uh, uh, facilities they will provide uh, is german first of all the country is german and the second of all the dad scholarship like daad scholarship is very popular in all over the world so let's try to explain you guys uh, how can you apply and what kind of facilities you will get and also the what kinds of document you need to prepare for this scholarship so this is normally the um, explanation about this scholarship and the master's program and uh, as well as the fully funded international scholarship so we don't need to uh, explain it perfectly if you want to learn this just uh, read one more time that's enough and you know this is the host country so host country is german and then the scholarship is dad scholarship and is normally uh, some uh, fixed uh, universities and fixed subjects they are offered for you guys so the fixed universities were the um, recommended or uh, considered universities are here so these kinds of universities uh, is uh, approved for this scholarship so you have to choose uh, at least two uh, University. So, in anyways, I will describe it in later uh, why you have to choose two universities. Okay, so at least minimum one or maximum two. So I will tell you. So this is the recognized scholarship university. So if you want to get this scholarship, you have to choose so this university for applications. And the degree is only master. So there is no bachelor and PhD scholarship for these kinds of scholarship. But in that, you know, that is very DAAD is very adverse scholarship so they have different categories so in these categories they are offer only master's level of scholarship and this the field this kind of subject you can apply here so you can check this subject if you think that it is related for your bachelor then you can apply and you can choose that subject and you can choose this uh, university and then you're gonna apply for your scholarship so the another thing is eligible countries that means the all of the countries cannot apply so you have to be the citizen uh, on this uh, countries so this recognized countries so i think there's lots of countries you can see this too many country is here so i think all of the countries is already included uh, maybe very few countries uh, is not listed in here but most of the countries in here so if you guys uh, find your country in here then you can apply like uh, if you are from nepal or if you are from philippine or if you are from sri lanka thailand so you guys can apply so there most of the thing is there like uh, malaysia maldives so maldives also included so uh, if maldives country is very small so if you guys also want to get the higher study from germany please try don't miss this scholarship and then this is the benefit so i told you this is a very prestigious scholarship and if you get this scholarship you just have to prepare all of the documents according to their requirement so first of all the benefit is uh, you can get the whole scholarship time you will get the tuition fee you don't need to pay any kinds of tuition fees and you can choose the two language german language and english language so you are international student so you can choose english language for your study and then they will provide you the health insurance so your health insurance will cover by this scholarship also the traveling um airfare like uh, you can go from your university uh, to uh, your country or you can go other place so every kinds of travel 
bill or travel allowance they will provide you so research grant that means is master's scholarship so you have to work in the research so they will provide the money for doing your research work as well as other residents who are rent uh, bill they will provide also so this is the criteria so it's normally told that the student from the above mentioned eligible countries can apply that means i told you before that uh, the listed country is approved and then if you are from that countries then you can apply for this scholarship and candidate must have the bachelor degree with good result because you are going to apply for master's degree right so candidate must should meet the language requirement of the respective course that means you have to choose the course and the course has the specific requirement about the language level and then you have to fulfill that language level so candidate should provide the experience certificate that means uh, you did job so if you don't did job then you cannot apply but if someone doing job they can provide their experience certificate so candidate should be motivated like you have to complete the sob sop or motivational letter so if you can complete the motivational letter you have to provide it also and then candidate should make a commitment to return home uh, after degree completion normally <laughs> candidate not come back but however when you apply you have to fill up that uh, you will come back after finish your master's degree so how to apply for TAD scholarship like candidate can apply in two eligible courses so before I told you that you can apply two countries so in here they also take uh, they mentioned that the candidate should apply for this scholarship by registering himself on the official application portal and also select not more than two universities that means maximum two universities you can select and maximum two courses you can select so you can apply maximum two times like uh, two universities so one university one course and another university another course so this is the uh, limit that you cannot apply all of these universities so maximum two universities you can apply so candidate has to complete uh, their application so it's normally you have to apply the online so there is the online form and you have to fill up the application form and then you have to print this application form and send it with your other requirement uh, documents uh, to the expected universities like if you choose one university then you have to fill up the application form and then you have to add us with this the other documents like your language certificate like your um, uh, degree certificate or transcript or your experience certificate and then together you can send it to the university so this is how to apply and the required document is also very important almost same in here but it also very important that uh, the dad applications form and then the copy of transcript so first of all dad has the application form right so you have to fill up the application form and before i told you the application form you have to print out and then you have to send the application form with your other documents so first of all application form is done and then second is your transcript so your transcript you have to copy and attest it is better and then your ORC experience certificate, language certificate, and two recommendations later. And then the letter of motivation. So letter of motivations means the SOP. We know that uh, for masters and PhD, SOP is very important. So if you are going to, uh, for PhD, maybe you have to do more work, like you have to write the study plan or research plan. But you are masters student, that's why they just mentioned the uh, SOP, like motivational letter, and then. You also provide the curriculum vitae like uh, CB is normal we call it CB but uh, the formal name is curriculum vitae so you have to provide this and the finally you have to provide the copies of your certificates like uh, your bachelor certificates you have to copy and also make the attested by someone or some advocates so this is the overall document so if you have everything you can apply easily and if you don't have something please try to prepare your document first and then you gonna apply for this scholarship so remember that the deadline is an uh, open already and is from june or east to july 31 so during the whole july you can apply for this and then 
if you want to apply first go the official link and then just click here then you can see it first go the official link and then you can see like this so you can see like this uh, so in here the application procedure application procedure and application requirement overview contact so if you want to contact you can contact here click here for application so there is something so i told you before that uh, you have to go here and then finally you can click the apply link and then you can apply and prepare all documents and then send to the university so this is the overall uh, description so what i have in my hand and if you have any kinds of questions please make the comment in the comment box i will try to give the answer as soon as possible so thank you very much for watching my video keep in uh, touch i will try to provide you more information about the scholarship in different countries so thank you very much uh, stay safe stay home